Hi everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Today I'm going to talk about a condition called jaundice and different types of jaundice. What is jaundice? Jaundice, uh, most of us know, is a condition in which the skin becomes yellow, but together with the skin also the eyes become yellow. There are a few conditions uh, like keratinemia and sometimes when people take a drug called rifampicin, when only the skin becomes yellow and that is not jaundice. So today we are going to talk about different types of jaundice. To understand jaundice, it is important to understand where the yellow color comes from in our skin and in our eyes, which makes us jaundiced. So as we know, our blood is red and the red blood is because of cells in the blood called red blood cells or RBCs. These cells live for about 120 days in our body and after that they die. When they die, they break down and when they break down, they release a substance called hemoglobin. Now hemoglobin is very important in our red cells because this is a substance which helps carry oxygen from our lungs to different parts of our body. If these cells are not present or hemoglobin is not present, our cells will starve of oxygen, will eventually die. Once the hemoglobin comes out of the red blood cells when they are dying, it breaks down into further two things. One is called heme, one is called globin. Globin is a protein which goes back into our blood, into our body and makes new hemoglobin. Whereas heme breaks down into iron and a yellow substance, it's a yellow green substance called bilirubin. And this is the substance bilirubin, which when the levels are very high in our body, makes us look yellow on our skin and in our eyes. And this is a substance which we are going to focus on from now on. Okay, so this is a simple diagram or as simple as I could make it about how jaundice can happen and three different ways jaundice can happen. So these are our red cells which are breaking down after approximately 120 days living in our body. They release bilirubin, which is the yellow thing or pigment that makes our skin and eyes yellow. But under normal circumstances, this bilirubin will go to our liver and liver will change it into a friendly bilirubin because if we leave the bilirubin the way it is, it can cause damage to our body. And liver is the organ which gets rid of the bilirubin. It makes the substance called bile, which we know is yellow green, which is full of bilirubin. And that bile is pumped through a tube called the bile duct into our intestine. Some of it goes into our stools to make the color of our stools yellow brown. Some of it is reabsorbed in our body and used up for different things in our body. But most of it is got, getting rid of through our intestine. Now, as you can see, I've drawn two lines here. One is a dotted line here and one is a dotted line here. So there is an area above this line. There is an area between these two lines and there is a third area below this line. So jaundice can happen because of three reasons. One of the reasons is above this line, which means any condition in which too many red cells are breaking down more than our liver can take care of or cope with, then the bilirubin will build up in our body because the liver can't get rid of it quick enough. And that is called prehepatic jaundice. Prehepatic means, pre means before, hepatic means liver. So jaundice that is happening before the bilirubin gets to our liver. The second thing that can happen is the problem might be between the two lines and the main thing in that area is the liver. If the liver is not working normally for whatever reason, which we'll briefly touch in a minute, then it is called hepatic jaundice. The problem in this case is, although normal amount of bilirubin is coming in, because our red cells are dying after 120 days, they're not dying excessively or anything, normal amount of bilirubin is coming in. However, the liver is not normal, is diseased and can't get rid of it quick enough. Hence, the bilirubin builds up in our body. The third scenario is below the second line. 
and happens before the bile goes into our intestine through the bile duct. If there is something blocking the bile duct and the bile cannot flow through, then it will build up into the liver and eventually into the blood to make us look yellow. And that is called post-hepatic jaundice. Post means after, hepatic again means liver, and obviously jaundice means being yellow. So jaundice, which is caused by problems after the liver. Basically, when the bile is being pumped out of the liver from the bile duct into our intestine. So we have three types of jaundice, prehepatic jaundice, when the liver is normal, there is no blockage after the liver. When too many red cells are breaking down, this is called prehepatic jaundice. The second type of jaundice is hepatic jaundice in which the liver is diseased. Third type of jaundice is post-hepatic jaundice when there is a blockage to the bile going out to the liver. So on this slide, I have mentioned a few conditions that can make our red blood cells very fragile and they break earlier than their normal cycle of 120 days. I mentioned just a few, there are many more conditions which can cause it, thalassemia, sickle cell disease, spherocytosis, and other conditions, including malaria, etc. Some of these conditions are more common in certain races as compared to others, and some of them are inherited from one generation to the other. But in this video, I'm not going to go into depth and details of these conditions because each of them can cover a whole YouTube video. Next, we are going to talk about a few conditions that can give rise to liver damage and cause jaundice because the liver is not working normally. I've written just a few again, not many. Some of them are common, some of them not so common. Acute and chronic hepatitis, which is inflammation of the liver, infection of the liver because of most commonly viruses like hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C viruses, cirrhosis of the liver, which again I'm discuss going to discuss in one of my future videos in which the liver gets very scarred and damaged which I also discuss in my video on portal hypertension and this could be because of either infections or because of alcohol. Some drugs can cause liver damage and simple drugs like paracetamol if taken in very large amounts can cause liver damage and many other drugs can cause liver damage. Conditions sometimes we are born with like Gilbert syndrome this is again a very common condition, 5% of population has it, causes very mild jaundice. However, patients do not come to any harm. Few uncommon conditions like krigler najjar syndrome, again, these, some of these conditions are inherited, which means they move from one generation to the other because there's a defective gene in the family. I've written down a few causes of post-hepatic jaundice or what we call surgical jaundice or obstructive jaundice. The reason it's calling is surgical jaundice because many of these conditions would require some sort of surgical treatment, whether it's done through endoscopy or actual operation. So very common cause, gallstones can block the bile duct, as I explained on my video on gallstones. Please do watch it. Pancreatic cancer or bile duct cancer, infl inflammation or infection of the bile ducts, quite commonly caused by gallstones, but infection of the bile ducts can also give rise to jaundice. Other rare conditions like bloody atresia in which the bile ducts are not formed, normally infection or inflammation of the pancreas gland, which could be acute or chronic inflammation of the pancreas. Again, you can watch my video on that. So loads of different conditions which can cause obstruction to the bile ducts and make our skin and our eyes yellow. So when the eyes and skin become yellow because of jaundice, one of the main symptoms that can happen is itching. And that is the main symptom patients complain of. Especially patients who have got obstructive jaundice or post-hepatic jaundice, their jaundice is very, very deep. They become almost orange in color. Especially patients whose bile ducts are blocked by gallstones or pancreatic cancer, they become very deeply yellow and they become very, very itchy on the skin. Before I conclude my video uh, today, I think it's very important to talk very briefly about uh, the commonest type of jaundice, which is jaundice of the newborn. I was a born jaundiced when I was, uh, because I was a bit premature birth and I was jaundiced and almost 80% of newborn children will have mild to moderate jaundice when they are born. 
Many of this will settle down on their own. Some of it will require some sort of treatment. And the reason this happens is because their liver is not very mature and they're breaking more blood cells. And the liver, which is, because it's not very mature, it's not working normally, will take some weeks to work and hence their bilirubin goes up. Thanks for watching today's video and I do hope you found this video informative. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you very soon.